Come on, sit down on your mat or on a towel or whatever you have at home today with you. We're going to do a class that's focused around opening up our body, creating circulation, uh, releasing any of the things that we might be accumulating in our bodies, in our minds, in our hearts that we don't need for today that are not working for us. So go ahead and come into a comfortable seat. Close your eyes and bring your palms together at your heart. And then start to draw your awareness inwards into your breath. Observe your breath. Notice if your breath is full or slightly choppy. Notice if you're breathing in the front of your chest, belly, throat, or your back. Notice if you can take your next breath all the way from the bottom of the sit bones. Let that breath climb up the side body all the way up into the inner armpits. And then on the exhale, can you soften any part of your ears, your eyes, your throat. Getting on my mat every day is a great opportunity for me to invite some healing or some balance into the places of my heart, my physical body, my emotional body. So take this moment to create an intention for your practice. When you have it, slowly bow your head to your heart and then open up the eyes. Welcome. So this morning we're going to start with a breathing technique called Kapala Bhati, which is a exaggerated exhale and the inhale is just very natural. It comes to you all by itself. So take your fingers, place them into the heart of your palm, thumbs up on the inhale, reach your arms up. And then on the exhale, we're going to start to pump our belly. So you're going to go That's about 30. Take a deep inhale in. Hook the thumbs overhead and then lock the chin. Keep your breath in as long as you can. Take another second, hold the breath, and when you're ready to exhale, release the hands down to the sides, release the fingertips, let your shoulders, let your brain and your shoulders move away from one another. Let's do one more round. Take an inhale in. This time, feel free to close your eyes. Exhale. So it's just a pumping of the belly the belly muscles below the navel and slightly above the navel, navel. The inhale is normal. It's, it happens on its own. The attention is paid, placed on the exhale. So five more pumps. Take a deep inhale in, lock the thumbs overhead the other way. Do a chin lock, rest the chin in towards the throat while keeping the breath in, let the breath be expansive into the walls of your body. When you're ready to release the exhale, slowly release the hands and let it go. Beautiful. So we're going to start with a twist this morning to release the spine. Take an inhale, reach your right arm overhead. As you exhale, place the right hand onto the right knee. So if you're pregnant and you're joining me today, this will be your ex this will be your twist right here. Those of you who can go deeper will take your right hand towards the crossing the ankles. You're going to inhale, lift up. Exhale, revolve to the left. One more time, inhale, right arm reaches up. On the exhale, take your hand to the outside of the left knee and then walk your left fingertips behind you. Press the left fingertips down. Inhale, reach up with the crown. Exhale, look behind your left collarbone. When you're ready, take, take a breath here. Ground both sit bones into the earth. Notice that there's a tendency to lift one sit bone or weigh deeply into one of them versus the other. Soften the head to your heart. Invite an opening in the collarbones as you lower the right, as you lower the chin towards the right shoulder. 
Shift your weight, balance the right sit bone down. Take an inhale here. And exhale, release. Take this right arm straight up to the sky. Follow it with your eyes. So you open the throat. And on the exhale, take this right hand way behind you. I'm just going to show you what the back looks like. Take it way behind you. Tuck the right fingertips into the left hip. Interlace the fingertips here. And on the inhale, breathe into the front of the chest. And on an exhale, drop your chin to the heart. Keep lifting the sternum towards the chin and then lower the right ear towards the right shoulder. You might feel a deep stretch in the left side of the neck. Stay with me here for another full breath in. On the breath in, feel the ribs lift away from the hips. And then exhale, bow your head towards the right ear, towards the right shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Take this right hand across your chest. Left arm underneath, coming to Garudasan. On the inhale, show you the side view again. Lift your heart, open the throat. And then on the exhale, round your spine. So up here, we're moving into a seated cow. We're gonna get up in a moment and start moving. Just a few more breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Notice as you inhale, you're rolling to the front of your sit bones. So you're giving the sit bones a little massage. You're arching the upper back. You're starting to invite a back bend. On the exhale, you're rounding the spine. Draw the navel back to the lower back. And then slowly release. We'll do this twist on our second side in the side profile. So inhale, left arm up. If you're pregnant, you're going to drop the left hand towards the inside of the left knee and then rotate your chest to your right. Otherwise, Inhale, left arm up once again. Bring it towards the mid shin. Once again, adjust the right hand behind you. Press down, lift up. One more exhale, inhale. Reach up, exhale, twist, twist, twist. Take that left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right fingertips press down. Let the spine get long and then open the chest to the right. Open your back towards your back. Lift your crown up towards the sky. Drop the sit bone straight down into the earth. Lower or move your gaze to the right and then lower your gaze towards the heart and soften your eyes towards the left knee. Take another breath here, maybe close your eyes. Feel the breath pulling all the way up from the tailbone, through the navel, through the sternum, up the throat, feeding the top of the brain. And then exhale, release. Take this hand behind you Place it onto the right outer hip, interlace the right fingertips here. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, draw the chest down towards the heart. Lower the left ear towards the left shoulder. For me, I feel an immense stretch here in my right neck. Breathe. Take another breath here. And exhale, release. Beautiful. Let's move. Okay. We're going to come up off the mat. I'm just going to adjust the computer a little bit so you can see me standing. All right, come onto the front of your mat and find me in a lunge right here. Okay, fingertips to the ground. On the inhale, open the chest. On the exhale, flex the right foot, fold forward. Ardha Hanumasana. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, bow. One more time. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, bow. So today's practice is about opening up the chest, taking us out of a congested place. We're going to do a lot of um, focusing on where our eyes are placed. So take your hand, right hand forward, eyes to the right fingertips. Um, lift the right arm up with your inhale. Exhale, take it behind you and then bring it back forward. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale, right fingertips, right eye track, one another. Take your eye way back. So we're finding new positions for our eyes. I know like myself and a lot of us in our community, we're looking down at our electronics a lot these days. So 
Taking the eyes in different positions, our eyes have six big muscles around them. Pause with your eye right, with your arm right up, drop your left fingertips down onto the floor, and then invite a twist. Take your right foot off your mat, and on the inhale, lengthen the crown away from the tailbone, and exhale, open the twist. Right fingertips, bring them behind your head. Head, press into the right palm, and open from the right hip crease, up the right ribs, into the right armpit, all the way up to the tip of the right elbow. This is a deep twist. Drop your head back any amount. Take one more breath. Whew, and exhale, release. Beautiful. Take your right foot back to the mat. Place it onto the right side of your mat. Right fingertips onto the ground. Left leg lifts up. Go ahead and take this right foot way back and then swivel onto the right and left outer heel. We're going straight into plank. Why not? Send the tailbone towards the heels. Take one more breath. Roll the collarbones open. Draw the shoulder heads black. One more breath. If you are here with me, maybe take the left hand overhead. Drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Press down and lift both hips up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly release. Come into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Wag your hips side to side. Feel that nice stretch behind the legs. On the inhale, lift your heels up, hips up. On the exhale, soften the chest back towards the inner knees. Send the heels back down towards the floor. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, lift the heels up, hips up. Exhale, bend the knees, pull the chest back towards the thighs. On your next exhale, pull the thigh bones away from the belly releasing the back of the heels towards the floor. They don't have to touch. And then on the inhale, lift up. And on the exhale, bend your knees. Step your left foot back, left foot forward. Okay, back knee onto the ground. We'll start the same way like we did on the other side. side. Go ahead and send the hips back, Ardha Hanumasana. Inhale, walk your hands forward, open the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, last time, open the heart. And then exhale, fold. Walk your hands to the front. Right hand to the ground, left hand straight up to the sky. Maybe option to walk your left foot over to the side. We're going to keep our eyes up to the left fingertips. Open the chest, lean. So notice how this is also getting us ready for the next pose that comes after this, which is side plank. Release your hand behind you, follow your arm on the inhale as if you were dipping your fingertips into the ocean and splashing them up. One more time. Inhale, lift. Actually, we have one more time. We do a set of three. Lift it up and then lean back. On your inhale, think about the crown lengthening away from your hips. So it's diagonally forward. Your arm resting back, your head spine resting back. Last version of this pose, take your palm into the back of your head, lean your head back, open the heart, add a little back bend. For me, I feel a nice stretch in my inner groins. Hope you can access that too. One more breath. Exhale, release. Place your hands to the inside of your front foot. Sweep your front foot to the back and then lower that outer heel into the floor. Take your right foot, lower the right inner heel into the floor, and come into plank. Side plank, Vashistasana. Press down into the left palm, roll both collarbones open, send the tailbone between the inner heels. If you can stay here for two more breaths, reach your right hand overhead, drop the left ear down, drop the right fingertips down. It opens the right side of the waist a little bit more. And then exhale, release. Downward facing dog. Widen the feet, widen the palms, mat distance wide. And let's just bend one knee, then the other. Nice and easy. Bend one knee, then the other. Pedal out the legs. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop to the front of your mat. 
Find your shins, inhale, come up halfway, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, slide your hands to the hips, lift your arms around and up. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Let's do one Surya Namaskar. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. You can join me in the front of your mat. I'm just going to start at the back of my mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees. Either walk your hands forward or step your feet back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower knees. Bend the elbows, lower chest, chin. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, pull your hips up and back. Adha Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Go ahead and take the right leg up and back. Open the hips, bend the right knee. Roll the right ankle in one direction and then the other. On the inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee, step it forward all the way or hop it halfway and use the right hand to bring it forward. Let's take our right foot over to the right side of your mat. And then the left heel, release it down. And then sweep your hands up, come on up into a warrior two stance. So generally in class, we talk about warrior two with the right foot, mid mat, and the left inner arch dissect. So the right heel, if you crossed it, made an invisible line, it matches the arch of the back foot. So you could join me here. Just so that you could see me, I'm taking my right foot over to the right and my left foot slightly to the left, but the alignment is the same. Okay, reach your arms out wide. On the inhale, let's reach back into a reverse warrior. On the exhale, let's lean forward into Pars Vokanasana, right angle. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up. And then exhale, take the right elbow to the right thigh. Take a quick peek to your right inner ankle. And then line up the right knee over the second and third toe. Good. Inhale, keep that knee pointing to the second and third toe. And then exhale one more time, right hand to the right mid thigh. Go ahead and inhale. Or extend your arms out, straighten the front leg. We're going to do a similar hand position with our arms. Inhale, right arm up, left hand to the left shin. Exhale, right hand down towards the right ankle. As far as it goes, left hand up to the sky. Two more. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale here. Go for height on your next inhale. Inhale, lift up. Get really spacious in the hips, into the armpits. Exhale, lean back. Get really open from the right big toe up to the right fingertips. And then we stay here on the next round. Exhale, Utthita Trikonasana. Send the right fingertips way into the right horizon. Press the right big toe. Take a look at the center of the right knee. Line it up to the second and third toe. That means for some of us, placing a little more weight into the right outer heel, and then slowly lower the hand down wherever it reaches. So it can reach up in the calf. If you have a block or a stack of books, you can place them onto the right side. For me, I'm gonna hold my ankle today. Inhale, reach up through the left arm. Try and lengthen the left arm right over your left shoulder. Try and lift the left shoulder away from the left hip. So the shoulder lines up directly over the right shoulder and then try and lift out of the right hip into the right armpit. So the right shoulder stacks right over the right ankle, wrist. So eventually the arms, the shoulders all line up. Take one more breath. And then exhale, release. Bend your right knee, release the left hand down to the floor and come back into downward facing dog. Shake out the hips. Second side, inhale, left leg, reach it up. Bend the knee, open the knee to the side. Rotate the ankle in one direction and then the other. On the inhale, lift up. On the exhale, step that foot, either a couple of steps or all the way to the front. You can pause with the left foot in the center of your mat. 
lower the right heel down. I'm just going to shift so that we can see different angles. So eventually the left heel makes an invisible line with the arch of the back foot. The right toes are turned in slightly. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Spread your wings wide. Here, inhale, left arm up, right hand to the right chin. Exhale, right elbow, sorry, left elbow to the left thigh. Option to take the right arm overhead. Two more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward. Last one, inhale, lift up. And then exhale, forward. Take a peek to your left knee. See that the left knee, just gonna show you the front side. The left knee tracks right over the center of the left ankle, which is right over the second and third toe. That's important. Go ahead and join me, Parsval Konasana. Extend the left leg on the inhale. Take your upper body up and back. And then exhale into a little mini vinyasa of Trikonasana, just with the upper arms. Inhale, lift up. Exhale forward. One more time. Inhale, lift up. Press it into the left big toe. And then exhale, we stay. Udhi the Trikonasana. Take the left hand forward, forward, forward until you can't go anymore. Take your right hand to the sacrum. Lengthen the sacrum, tailbone towards the right inner heel. Reach forward. One more breath as if you were delivering a beautiful plate of grapes forward to your neighbor, to me. And then lower the hand down. Hold on to the ankle or place a stack of books or place a, the seat of a chair on the left side of your foot. And inhale, open the chest. Lengthen the crown into its horizon. Send the tailbone in the directly opposite direction and then reach the arms up, right arm up. Start to lift out of the right hip Start to line up the right shoulder over the left. Start to lift up so that you're creating a triangle in the underbelly of your body. Take one more breath. Exhale, bend the front knee. Lower down to the floor. Adho Mukhashvanasana, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. As you exhale, bend your knees. Pull your hips back and then find the child's pose. Option to walk your elbows forward, bend the elbows and then place the palms over the nape of your neck. It gives the upper body a nice release. So let's stay there for a few breaths. On your next inhale, release the hands, open the palms wide, shoulder distance height, spread your fingers wide, take a little more real estate underneath the palms. And on the inhale, press into the palms, look forward to the front of your mat. And can you pause here for a moment and just smile? Smile for the miracle of your hands, your fingertips, this mat, your room, the technology that connects you and I together today. And on the exhale, just let the hips move side to side, pulling the crease of the hips back towards the tips of your toes as your fingertips peel and walk forward. On your next inhale and press down. Open the chest, open the heart, and exhale, round the spine. Take your right foot forward for lunge. Fingertips to the ground. Lift the back knee up and come on up into a high lunge. Bring your hands to the hips. Bend your left knee. Pull your chest, head, shoulders back any amount. So much so that you start to feel some work in the left quadricep. You can take your left knee, lower it straight down to the floor, and then come back into a lunge. Okay, on the inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. On the exhale, you're going to do 
some arm movements by extending the hands way back. So pull the fingertips back as if there was somebody else behind you extending your wrist to the back of the room. So the ears, shoulders, collarbones release. We're gonna do this twice more. Inhale, we find north, lift up. Exhale, we, it's almost like a humble warrior. We're softening our heart. We're softening into the wisdom we already know. We're rooting a lower body. Inhale one more time, lift up. And then exhale, soften and surrender. Lengthen the crown. Extend the fingertips way back. Peel both collarbones up and open. Take one more breath here. Beautiful, exhale, release. Release your left foot down to the floor. Turn your right foot forward. So now line up heel to heel. Prasavita Paratanasana. Extend your arms out into the horizon. Bring your hands behind you. I'm just gonna show you what the back view looks like. Find your sacrum. And then turn the palms up. If your shoulders have that mobility, or keep your fingertips facing down towards the tailbone. Slide your wrist towards your upper hip. Now inhale, widen the collarbones any amount. So you're pressing the fingertips towards each other, and in return, you're opening the chest. Those are my friends who are able to perhaps roll forward, slide the palms up the back. You're going to find me here. So wherever we are, we're right here. Okay, inhale, press the fingertips into the back, into your upper back. Lift your heart up and then exhale, fold forward. As you fold forward, start to lean your chest forward, but keep your hips back. So there's a little bit of Hatha Yoga happening here. Hips are resisting back. The back of the legs are lengthening. The spine, the back of the spine is lengthening. And the heart is extending forward. So we're always opening, becoming spacious with the chest. Anytime in your practice that area gets constricted, it is on purpose, right? We are trying to constrict so that we can relieve and receive. Okay, inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold. Take the head towards the ground. It doesn't have to touch. It can definitely float. And just the idea of having the head below has so many benefits. One of them is getting a lot of blood oxygen to our brain. Another one is the reversal of gravity. We're allowing the muscles of our neck, the vertebra in between our neck to get spacious. So all day long our head, the the cranial part of the cervical part of our spine is in one direction. So we're giving it release. Hang here for another few breaths. Some of you walk your palms up your back now. Maybe you can join me with your palms right behind the, the center of your shoulders. Take one more breath. Exhale, release. All right, slide your hands down towards the floor. Walk them forward right underneath the shoulders. Bring your hands towards each other. Send the hips back, hands to the right hip. Find your sacrum tailbone. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, open the collarbones to the right. Release. Left hand to the sacrum. Send the buttock flesh back. Inhale, lengthen the crown. Exhale, left collarbone lifts up. Exhale, release. One more time. Right hand to the hip. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. This time, press a little extra weight onto the left heel. On the inhale, reach your right hand up. See if you can stack the right wrist right over the left. Send your hips back, send your heart forward. So a little bit of back bend and then invite a twist. Resist with both inner heels. as a tendency to dump into one leg, one hip. One more breath. Exhale, release. All right. Bend your right knee, rotate the right toes out to the side. Let's take it into Skandasana or a inner thigh stretch. So right knee bends, right toes and right knee line up. And option to lift the left heel. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. Option to lift the left heel off the floor, the left toes off the floor. Right sit bone balances on the right heel. Left foot extended out to the side. And then here, maybe find a balance. Hmm. I'll show you what this looks like. If 
from the front on the opposite side. Slowly release the hands, come back onto your mat into Parjottanasana. Okay, hands underneath you. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, stay. Inhale, stay. Exhale, stay. And then slowly release the hand. I'm going to show you what the front of this looks like. So we're going into Skandasana on the left side. Bend your left knee. Rotate the left toe, knee out to the side. Walk your hands to the left. Release your hips down to the floor. As the hips release to the floor, the right foot, the right toes lift up. <sighs> left sit bone and the left heel line up. And then fingertips on the ground work on a little balance. Just for fun. Fingers can stay down here. Lift your gaze eye level. Find your breath. So balancing poses are really all about our breath. Keep your eyes steady. Keep your breath steady. That's one of the benefits of yoga. Just harnessing the breath. Soften the skin around the ears. Soften the intensity of the eyes and smile. One more breath. And then exhale, release. Join me in downward facing dog when you're ready. Mm. Inhale, lift your heels up. Let's take a walk back to your mats. So towards your toes. Take a walk back. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, hold. Slide your hands up to the hips. On the inhale, lean the chest forward and come to standing. Okay, so from here, we're going to go into a lunge. So we're going to step the right foot forward, but it's a mini lunge. We're going to step the left foot back. Lift the left heel off the floor. Okay, from here, so we were, notice that we were here not too long ago. We were doing that lunge sequence with our crown lengthening forward. And on the inhale, we rose up. And then exhale, we went back. So let's, so, so go ahead and join me here. Inhale, rise up. Send the shoulders, hips, heart back. Exhale, lengthen the crown forward. Now this time, I want your hands to go to the outer hips and sort of firm the outer hips into the middle. So now you're awakening the core muscles of the hips and belly. So we can take it into the next pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, firm the hands into the outer thighs, just kind of firming the thighs inwards. And then one more time, inhale, rise up. And then exhale, firm it in. So from here, we're going to go into warrior three. Take your hands to the hips, pull your hips back towards the back heel. The right knee bends, line the right knee to the second and third toe, lean forward. So float the crown forward. So it's a diagonal lift forward, not down. Take it straight forward. And then keep looking down onto the floor and lift your left heel up any amount. Send your head up. So press your head up, press the back of the shoulders up so that you can get the lift in the underbelly. At the same time, the left heel starts to find that same lift. So you're trying to come into a tabletop position between the head and the back heel. And it doesn't matter how it looks from the outside. What really matters is the flow of your breath. Give me one more breath here. Look down, bend the right knee, Slowly lengthen the left leg back and land. Whew, that felt good. It's definitely harder talking through it. Inhale, reach your arms up. So I'm going to show you what my upper body looks like here. Just bring your forearms together. Imagine that I'm still standing up. Inhale, lift up. So you're still in the high lunge. And exhale, release. Straighten the right leg, bend the front knee, and then step forward. And take the opposite leg back. Okay, so we're finding that lunge again. Look to your left knee, let it meet the second and third toe, bend the knee. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms behind you, firming the hips in one line. Inhale, lift up. Exhale here. Take your eyes from the floor, up the front wall, and then maybe up to the top fingertips. 
open the throat and exhale, you know, where we're headed, pause. So you're on a diagonal. Let me see if I can show you what the side of this looks like. And then I do the side profiles and justice. So hands at the hips, front knee bends, front knee tracks over the second and third toe. Okay, pull your hips back. So send the flesh of your hips back towards the back heel. I'm not thinking about going down. I'm actually thinking about lengthening forward, up to back, up to where my ceiling and front wall meet. When you're ready, exhale, lean. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. My right heel lifts, my heart lifts, my head lifts. So if I have a hand behind my head, my head's pressing up, it's not dropping down. Press it up, in fact, try it. Place your right hand or your left hand at your head, on your head and press up. Both hands definitely make this a little bit more challenging. Be ready. Option to extend your arms on this round. Press into the left heel, draw the navel into your back, lift forward a little bit more with the crown. Look down, exhale, bend your knee, land down. Whew. Reach your arms overhead. So here we are, just imagine my back knee is off the floor, arms overhead, bring the opposite forearm to the front. Shake your head, no. Whew. And then shake your head, yes. And then slowly release. Whew. That felt great. Let's come down onto the floor. So join me here with your, let's start with our toes curled under. So join me here with your toes curled under and your knees and hips and shoulders lined up. So we're gonna do a little bit of belly cultivation, core cultivation to take us into our next pose. So hands at the heart. Lengthen the crown, drop the tailbone down. On your exhale, draw the hip, head, shoulder, back at the same level. Any way back, as any amount back as you can, and then inhale, rock forward. You're gonna notice how much your quadriceps work, they resist. Once again, exhale back, navel draws up and in, and inhale, you lift up. Let's do four more. Exhale back. Inhale, think about getting tall, lifting up. Exhale, we draw back. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, we draw back. Ooh. Inhale, we lift up. So hopefully you felt the idea of the lower belly lifting up, the quadriceps working, and the lower back lengthening there. Let's take that into our next pose, which is going to be a back bend. So toes curled under. Let's come into it a slightly different way. So bring your hands to the heels and meet me here. So notice that this is accessible. Hopefully this is accessible. If you have any lower back things going on, you can do a couple of things. Either draw a block in between your inner thighs or uh, bring a towel, roll a towel or a t-shirt. I have a t-shirt nearby, just going to demonstrate. If you have something nearby, you can pop it in between your inner thigh, just something to hold on to, in between your inner groins. Okay, so back here, hands at the heels. Okay, so to drop your tailbone towards the inner knees, so I'm now, my tailbone's here, I'm taking it forward into my inner knees, Start to pin the back of your heart up to the sky. Take your shoulder heads, roll them away from your armpits to the outside, roll them outwards, and then press the toes down and lift the heart up. If your shoulders are starting to move away from the neck, option to drop the gaze behind you. And breathe. One more breath. On the inhale, press into the toes, press down to lift up and lower the feet down. Bring your hands down and slowly meet me here. Vivasana. Just breathing. Close your eyes. Just breathe.
Notice how your breath rate sped up in that last pose. If it did, that's a good thing because back bends are supposed to do that. Yoga is a medicine and every day we practice, we get little glimpses of it. Let's do that again. Let's lift our heart rates through this back bend. Okay, so I'm gonna invite you, if curling your toes under worked well for you, I'm going to invite you to flatten your feet. Okay, this time we're going to go into the pose a slightly different way. Line up the tailbone into the inner knees. Widen the collarbones. Bring your hands to the back of your buttocks. Lengthen the buttock flesh down towards the inner knees. Hug your elbows in. On the inhale, lift your chest up. On the exhale, send the buttock flesh down towards the inner knees. Hug your elbows in. So we're starting to open up the cavity of the front of the heart. We're starting to lengthen the spread. That's what we called in finance. When I worked in banking, we're going to lengthen the spread we're going to spread between the breastbone and the belly button. It wasn't about anatomy, it was more about money. Lengthen the spread between the interest rates or something like that. So lengthen the spread between the top of the navel and the center of the breastbone. And then keep lengthening the tailbone down, lift the heart up. If you have any lower back issues, neck issues, you stop here, you work here for a few breaths and then you lift your head up and come up. Otherwise, the rest of you will take, go into Gobu Kasana, turn the chest towards the sky, snuggle the shoulders away from the ears. When you're ready, maybe trust your body, press, release one hand, linger towards the heel, find your heel, press the toe down, lift the heart up, find the other heel, and then stabilize, stabilize into the pose. So stabilizing is knowing that your body is there for you, knowing that you can start to trust yourself, and knowing that the wisdom that you and your body have is accessible to you. All you need to do is be quiet and spend the time listening. When you're ready, roll the shoulder heads. Externally rotate the shoulder heads. They pull away from the armpit. Maybe the shoulders pull away from the neck towards the lower back and lift your gaze overhead. Stretch the throat. One more breath. Okay, coming up. Wide hand moves to the sacrum. Lengthen the tailbone down. Heart lifts up towards the sky. Stay here for a breath or two and slowly release the hips to the floor, Virasana. Oh, that feels so good. Close your eyes, cut the right palm over the left, and just breathe. Can you use your breath? And can you use the awareness of yourself and your breath to consciously slow down the rate of the breath, every opportunity. So slowing down is not trying to slow down, slow it down completely by stopping the breath, but it's by riding the wave of the breath. It's like a surfer connecting with the rhythm of the wave so that they can, he or she, and start riding the current, become one with the current of the wave. So let your mind and your heart connect. You're riding the same effort, the same rate of the breath. When you're ready, come on to all fours. We're going to come into some hip openers. So I imagine a lot of us are feeling tight in the hips. Take your right foot forward, place your left heel closer towards the right sit bone, okay? And then lower the right knee down to the side, place the right heel onto the left palm, right hand onto the right knee, and just rock, rock your leg. Just like this, just rocking side to side. We'll do this maybe for two more breaths. 
Just rock your right knee and your right ankle side to side. Now, if you can, start to flex your right foot. So at first I started here and slowly I gained awareness. I'm flexing the right toes towards my right knee. I'm lifting the right ankle any amount and I'm still continuing with that rocking action. Let's take this a little bit further. Take the right knee, kind of hug it, and then bring the right knee towards the right armpit. So we're pulling, let's not pull, we're encouraging the right knee to move close to the right sideways and then it likes to release. We're drawing it in and we're letting it go. Let's do it one more time. We're drawing it in and we're letting it go. We're drawing it in and letting it go. All right, now this leg is ready for double pigeon. Walk your left shin forward until the left shin is parallel with the front of your mat. Flex the left foot and then take this right knee, place it in line with the left ankle. Take the right ankle over the left knee and then pause. Settle the sit bones down to the floor. Flex both feet any amount. If this is placing any undue pressure in your groins and you're finding yourself arching your lower back, kind of rounding. Two options, place a pillow or a bolster or folded blanket underneath your hips, but to do that, drop that heel down, slide your hips in, meet me there. That's option number one. Option number two is this right heel does not need to rest on the left thigh. It can release on the floor directly in front of it. So these are the two options. You can do them individually or both together. So I'm going to come back off of this mat. Okay, and I'm gonna meet you here. So right heel onto the floor or on the top of the left thigh. All right, we, we pause here, we breathe. Hands behind us. Let's open the collarbones. Take your left palm, bring it forward. Right hand onto the left inner bicep. Roll the bicep up to the sky. Lift the bicep up and go Mukhasana arms. Take the left elbow straight up to the ceiling. Press your head back into the forearm. Meet me here. One more breath. And release. Take your left hand behind you. You should already start to feel an opening in the left collarbones. Place the palm down. Use that arm to lengthen the spine taller. Right hand lifts up. Let's add a twist. This feels so good. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left foot. Now the palm and the foot Keep each other honest. Inhale, press into the sit bones. Exhale, rotate, twist, twist, twist. Notice if your neck is overdoing the pose like mine was. Draw the head, neck back. Lift your eyes, eye level. Option to let this left hand slide across the left hip. Hook it onto the right sit bone and twist. So we're doing a lot of the things that we started our class with. Lastly, soften the neck, head, roll the eyes softly, sweetly towards the right shoulder, right knee. Now, don't forget to breathe. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, breathe. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. One more three-part breath. Inhale, lower lobes mid lobes, top of the lungs, exhale, top, mid, lower. Slowly release the neck, smile, and then release the hand. Notice the difference between the right and the left side of the body. Let's give this right leg a release as well. Okay, second side. Let right heel close to the left sit bone. Left heel on the right hand, left knee on the right hand. And let's just move side to side. Left knee moves to the left armpit. You're going to hug that knee in. You're gonna draw it back and let that leg spring forward. Draw it back, let the leg spring forward and draw it back and let the legs spring forward. Okay, take this right shin, make it parallel to the front of your mat. And then take this right heel, place it on top of the left knee. 
If you need to make any adjustments by adding a pillow or a blanket or placing this left heel forward ahead of this right knee, that's a great option. Take your right hand up towards the sky, bend the elbow, place the palm to the back of your upper shoulders and then lift the right elbow with the assistance of the left palm and then breathe up. Sit up tall as possible, close your eyes, move into the internal walls of your body, the internal landscape. And every time you breathe in, let the breath get lost, let it marinate into the crevices of your skin, the fascia, the bones, and the into the intelligence system that is already working in your body without you directing it. Remembering it is our innate and internal nature and intelligence for our body to continue to keep healing, continue to keep evolving. Allow your body to do that here. And then slowly release. Take this right hand. You should feel an immense opening here on the right side of the waist. Take that hand behind you. I'm going to bring this left heel on top of my right leg. Inhale, left arm up. Here is that beautiful hip opener twist. Take that hand to the outside of the foot. Keep that foot honest by pressing the palm into your foot and the foot into your palm and then use that as a leverage point to go into your twist. On the inhale, reach the spine up. On the exhale, open the chest to the right. Inhale, lengthen tall like a healthy plant. Exhale, soften the belly in. Take your gaze to the right shoulder, drop the head to the heart, lower the gaze to your left knee, softly, sweetly, gazing to the left heart, the left side of the body. Move your upper body into your front body, your upper back body into your front body, any amount. And exhale, slowly release. Okay, we are slowly moving towards the end of our class. I'm gonna do one more, fall, one more pose, a nice, hip opener, and also a forward bend. So forward bends are vital for us to bring ourselves inwards. So I will notice if this pose helps you do that. Bring your hands forward so you can join me here. If this is extreme, too much of an opening for your legs, option to bend the knees wherever you are, fold forward, surrender. Option to keep your elbows on the ground. Option to walk your hands forward any amount. You're gonna take a big breath. It's gonna arrive in from the middle or the back of your sit bones and then all the way up the back body. And then you're gonna take a big exhale as you soften, soften and surrender towards the earth. Take one more breath here. And exhale, walk your hands in round your spine and slowly release. If you have time here, you can take your body up and lift your legs up against the wall and bring the spine flat on the ground. So coming into Viparita Karani, which is a beautiful restorative um, inversion. Um, but for the rest of us to keep uh, in time with the 60 minutes of the class, I invite you now to find whatever you need to settle yourself down onto the floor for Shavasana. Go ahead and point and just roll the left toe side to side, open that foot to the edge of your mat. Take the right foot side to side, open it to the edge of your mat. And then slowly invite your spine, like it's a soft surrender. Invite your body to drop down, invite your lower back to drop down, invite your head to drop down. Take a beautiful breath here. Ah, and exhale out of the mouth. Surrender, let go, let go. Every time you breathe in, connect with the sensations in the body, all those corners softly blossoming opening to receive. 
And just that little bit of intelligence is worth being gratitude for. As you exhale, drop the weight of your head, the weight of your upper back, the weight of your sacrum, the weight of your thighs, the weight of your shins, your heels, your palms, the weight of your throat, and lastly, the weight of your eyes. Shavasana. My dear friends, please feel to stay here as long as you can. For those of us who have to get back into our day, reach your right arm overhead, bend your knees, slide your hips to your left and roll to your right. Press down, make your way up to sit. Bring your hands to the heart. If there's anybody in your life, anybody out there in the universe that you would like to offer gratitude for, take this moment, keep your thumb and pinky finger together, open the other fingers apart. This mudra is the mudra of lotus, the national flower of India, where I'm from. Into the blossom of your lotus, place the things that you are grateful for. The people that you are grateful for, whether you may know them today personally or not. Then when you're ready, extend the fingers towards the front of your heart and let those thoughts of gratitude out into the universe. Bring your hands together at your heart once again. Take a deep inhale in with the, with deep gratitude for you, your time for practicing with me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I will see you next Friday. Namaste. Namaskar. Thank you.